for two years, this has been my editing station. I've spent countless hours sitting here with my phone, turn sideways and actually fits really good sitting right here open up power director and away i go i can't tell you the amount of time i've spent right here editing and i really can't gripe because it's worked out well on january 1st we had 187 subscribers as I make this video, we have about 7,360 around in there somewhere. It's all been done right here. 99% of it. Sometimes I'll do it sitting at a table or whatever, but the vast majority of it has been sitting here at this steering wheel. But as well as this situation has worked out for us, uh, it's time to say goodbye to this particular setup. Here it is. So it looks like a laptop, but it's not a laptop, just a monitor. One thing Samsung and a few other phones, not Apple, have something called DEX. D-E-X, it stands for Desktop Experience. What it essentially does is turns your phone into a computer. And that's something that I've been needing a lot for a long time because it's just so, Doing it on the phone, it's doable, it's just small. Here's what you do. Comes with cables, I, and I had to order this as a USB dongle, USB-C dongle. There's a few different ways you can do it, but it uses an HDMI. Turn your phone on. And watch this. And what's nice about it is I can use a mouse, regular keyboard, and these are this is just a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard that I bought from Walmart, but it just has it has this little dongle that fits in here for Bluetooth stuff. Now I can go back here and open up, say I want to open Power Director. Now I have a full screen power director. Mike, thank you for this. That's it. This is <laughs> so much better.
obviously I'm doing a best of 2022 best moments montage. That's what I'm doing. It's a video to get content here where there's a lack of content. So I thought, you know, I need more footage. So I went back into my two terabyte hard drive. It's all gone. I don't know what happened. There was 1.3 terabytes of the last two years of our journeys. I thought it's just, it's just gone. I don't know where it went. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. If it's not one thing, it's 7,000. Oh, look, there's 17 dogs. So many dogs and birds, in case you can't tell. I don't know if anybody else in the country is aware that it's about to get cold on a molecular level. Like, I'm in West Texas, and it doesn't really get cold in West Texas, but it does sometimes, because it's supposed to be 11 degrees here. Friday morning, and then 15. It just doesn't do that here. One thing we haven't done since we haven't been in the van really is I haven't winterized it because I don't want to come back out here in a couple of days and have busted stuff from cold, cold. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to winterize it, make sure we're good to go. Why is there a bag of dog food laying out here? Number one, first thing we're going to do, antifreeze because if we freeze the block, freeze plug or whatever then anything else that happens inside the van is kind of inconsequential this is the number one thing welcome to my mess it'll be fine it'll be fine i promise just settle down it'll be fine so it has some antifreeze in it i don't have a tester but I can feel it's kind of slippery. Does that make sense? But I don't know that that's enough. So what we're going to do, go ahead and put some antifreeze in it. Maybe I'll get some in the radiator. Maybe. Right. Then what we'll need to do is start it up and let it kind of let it run and get warm. Like open the thermostat so it'll go, circulate through the engine. So let's go ahead and start it. She doesn't like cold. There we go. Yeah, she starts like a Dodge. And if you know what a Dodge sounds like, that's what it sounds like. And if you don't know, that's what it sounded like. So it's gonna take a minute for that to heat up and thermostat to open. I could drive it, but I don't wanna drive it. I don't want to, I don't wanna do those things right now. Anyway, we're gonna let this idle and then we'll come back to it. So. What I'm going to do is get in here and look at all the, any, anything that could freeze in cold weather. Now, we have another one of these in the back, and it's, we always carry like 14 gallons of water, and then we usually carry waters as well. We just use this for cooking and cleaning and, you know, getting the water balloon fights. We don't do any of that. So, and this is, like I said, this is seven gallons. It wouldn't freeze all the way. But what I'm afraid of is it freezing down here and breaking all these fittings. Slide the old potty over. I'm just going to set it like that. So that way, if it does happen to start freezing, it won't break any of this. Because this is the big thing. And then 
I thought we had some bottled waters in here, and I don't know that we do. Maybe Rachel took them all in, because bottled waters would have it. it would be a problem, let's just say that. Let's see, we have inside the cabinets that could potentially freeze and bust. Well, I've been looking for that. Nothing up here, would you please? Hey, hey, could you stop? Hey, uh, Zoe, Z-Dog, Z, black and white dog. Zip it. So, it's just all ramen and soups and stuff in here. I think those will be fine. More ramen and... I don't think the Bible's going to freeze. I don't think it is. There's always the chance, though. Uh, yeah, all that's fine. There's nothing in there. I'm, I'm worried about anything in, in glass is what I'm really concerned about. Worcestershire. I'm going to set it up here so... I don't think it's. I don't think it'll freeze. Hey, that's not a necessary addition to the video today, madam. It's just. It's just not. <laughs> Peanut butter will be all right. I think we're okay. Now, this is all closed down here. The only other thing, I may come out here and let the diesel heater run, just so things like cooking oil and stuff we have in here won't get all cloudy and gooey and all that. I think we're... Can't think of anything else. So, I think, think, think we're good in here. This is what I was worried about, really. And then, I could, like I said, I could have sworn we had water bottles in here, but I've been wrong before. I think it was a Tuesday, probably Tuesday the 11th. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll... Get back out here and see what we got going on. Yeah, like I said, it already had some in it, and it. All this is just the water pump moving it around and making it come out over. It'll be fine. Uh. That's. I need to go get a tester, but I just don't have one. And I don't want to go do that. I don't want to go get a tester. Yeah, it's starting to suck it back down now. I think this thermostat finally opened up. I think we're good. I think we're good. Anyway, so, but like I said, if we were going to be in the van, it wouldn't have been a big deal because we could have just, I mean, you know, we'd be, we'd have the heater running and things wouldn't get, th things would never get that cold. But since we're not in it right now, we had to kind of do some different stuff. We had to, had to do what I did. Is what I'm saying. We appreciate y'all. Really, we're ready to be back in Sand Van. This has been it's been a thing here, but we're ready, ready to be back in this. Re really, be we're really be ready to be back. Can I talk? Can I make words come out of my word hole? Can I formulate a sentence? Probably not. Anyway, y'all have a great Christmas and the holiday New Year and happy festivities. Festivities. Yep. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.